So welcome to the Great Extends on Railings. I'm going to take a look at creating a glass panel railing. So you can see I've got one here in front of me. I've obviously got a panel here. I've got some uh, glass clamps in here. Obviously a post and rail arrangement. Quite simple sort of incline and level sections. And you can see that's one we've got existing. So how did I go about that? So if you've seen any of the other videos, we're sort of going to follow the same theme. So we're going to obviously pick a line in this case here. And we're just going to pick these two baselines for the railing. Uh, I don't need an object to be associated with it, and I don't need base points for the posts. I am going to pick a nosing point, just to give a height reference. And with that selected, as obviously in the previous videos you would have seen, it will go off and it will create this, the standard railing. So I've not put any special defaults in or anything like that. I'm just letting it create it as it would normally create it and add in a top rail and a middle rail and make it from round tube etc so we can see that's now come in so we would just sort of follow the same theme that we have done uh, before so we'd come down into the the post and obviously we we might want to change the post down in here so we can come down obviously into the the, the various library entries in here uh, i'm going to do a square hollow section cold form so you just need to give it a second for it to initialize and then you can come in and pick in the post size you want. So I'll change that. I'm then going to flip to the uh, alignment sort of positioning. So I'm going to do the horizontal. So I'm going to follow my measurements across the bottom here. And I'm going to leave it by segments. And I'm just going to adjust it in here. Obviously, so uh, this will, this is changing the, the start and the end values. So it's moving the post. And obviously because I've got the horizontal field set, you'll see that the posts are aligned. So that's the same as what we've done before. If you come into the handrails, obviously you can do the same kind of thing. So the, the first thing I'd probably do is come down here and change this to custom for the slope. Because obviously I probably want to use a different height on here. So I'm just going to type that in there. So it's going to drop down the, the sloping rail and obviously change the mitre position. Uh, the other thing, uh, just to probably make it uh, go to the, the outer edge of the rail, so just change this drop down in here and put outer edge, so that just drop that over there. So, And next we sort of, um, we sort of leave that as it is, but we don't come to the middle rail. Actually, I don't want any middle rail, so I can actually just type in zero and actually turn the middle rail off within the railing. Uh, the next bit to look for is obviously the infill, and this is quite quite simple really. You just click panels, and it will bring in a panel, and it will populate it with some clamps. Uh, you use the default setting for this, so um, it will come in, and it will say plate. You can change it to grating, but obviously because I'm doing glass, I'm going to leave it as plate. That's what we do in advanced steel. Uh, depending on how your glass clamp is set up, you'll have different thicknesses available in here. Uh, from the drop down if you did have middle rails in here you can control the panel distribution through this panel here just by checking and unchecking boxes i don't have any middle rails so obviously that's grayed out this controls the edge distances to the uh, obviously the post and the rail so in here you can see the obviously the descriptive dialogue there and that's obviously relative to these fields in here uh, we, we can put a frame on if we want to but we're not going to in this case because obviously we're using glass clamps but you can add a frame if you need to I'm just going to pop over to the connections tab now and obviously you can see it's coming and it's pulled in a Q rail clamp and this is coming from the great Tech special part manager that we have where you can set up your own glass clamps in there so if you've got your own manufacturer supply you can add it in through that interface uh, you can see the various different options here obviously you might have a different one on the, the vertical and horizontal but you can have the same depending on what you want to do uh, the next important tab here is obviously the positioning so here, this is actually controlling the position relative to the corner of the, the actual plate. So by, by adjusting this figure here, you can actually move it up and down. And obviously by number, obviously, so there's only two clamps in there. So if you change that to three, you get an extra clamp in the middle. Obviously, we don't have any on the horizontal sort of strike slope leg of the railing, but we could do if we so wish to. There is an option here to change by max distance. So it will actually then just populate fields. So I think if you had a slightly larger panel then you could do that It'd probably have a max distance between the clamp if you so wish uh, so that's that's pretty much it for the the basis of the rail to get the clamp in place so one thing i did want to point out is obviously in some instances uh, you, you may have a slightly different arrangement at the handrail 
So here, so obviously this is a handrail to handrail on this corner and you can adjust this in here. So maybe we're using a swan neck arrangement. So the rail will step rather than just be a straightforward mitre. And, and by adjusting that value in here, the, the plate should follow that line around there. And obviously you can see the bottom of the, the, the glass and pill panel there is filling across the bottom there at the angle. And obviously the level section at the top. Obviously there's a lot of other things you can add and change as we've shown in other videos with the, obviously the top of the post, the base plate fixings, etc, etc. Uh, so you should be able to quite quickly create a series of glass panels uh, independently or associated with a staircase or a ramp, etc. Or just a level landing or a level area uh, quite quickly. So I hope that gives you a good introduction to using the glass panels within the Great Tech Railing. Thank you for watching.